today we're going to talk about how to work with the U.S. Census records in our series of the experts. Welcome everybody uh, from all the world as I see already all the people coming in and saying here in the question panel uh, where they are coming from. I recognize a few names and I see a lot of new names, so I am very happy. And uh, a little bit about uh, myself, uh, who is going to be managing this session. Um, you already know my name. You already know that I'm a genealogy expert at my heritage. Uh, you may not know that I started in the company in 2006. Um, and I was dedicated to genealogy way, way before that, even from the time that I was in Venezuela. So that is why my funny accent. Uh, here in Israel, in the headquarters of my heritage, I'm dedicated to do webinars, lectures, attending conferences. Uh, yeah, do you remember those? Uh, I really hope that we can go back to them. Uh, very soon. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if I can fix the mic uh, as I am seeing that you have a little bit of static. Uh, probably this is better. Just let me know. Um, and yes, and you can also write questions as we go today because after all, this is uh, Ask the Expert. And the reason for having today a session about the census, the U.S. Census, is because all of you who are uh, living in the United States, are U.S. citizen, uh, probably uh, had to fill the census uh, until yesterday. It's my understanding that you could do that also on the uh, internet or by phone. Uh, you all receive this. <clears throat> Uh, this form, and I hope that you have done your duty. Um, I do know a lot of you are very upset and, and sad uh, because their questions were not very genealogy oriented, let's say it like that. I just hope our descendants will be able uh, to find more information about all of us in the census. So my heritage, besides having this Ask the Expert, uh, also is giving you free access to all the U.S. census. Normally, this is a collection that uh, will get, um, will need a paid subscription, uh, but uh, for now, until April 5th, it's totally free. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's go and start with the census. Uh, where I am now is on the research page of my heritage. When you have um, an account or when you are uh, subscribed to my heritage, even for free, you will see the menu up here, and you want to go to the research. Uh, tab and you can click over there and you're going to find our search engine. The search engine has a basic form. On the right side you have all kind of categories. One of those categories is census and voters list. If you click here uh, you will find all the census and voters list available a true on my heritage <clears throat> and uh, then you will be able to select the different censuses or countries that you want. As you can see already, uh, the few that we have listed here in the US census are uh, with the free tag. If I would like to see all the specific US census that I have, I'm gonna click on the US census and this page is dedicated uh, to the uh, US Census. I'm hearing that you have a little bit of static. Let me see if I can uh, move my microphone a little bit here. 
uh, so you can hear better. Okay, so in this page, you will find a basic form with names, birth, residence, and keywords that you could use to find your individuals. I would like to point out just for a second that we have an advanced search, and this advanced search will allow you to do more specific searches and put more information not only about information about the person that you are looking and the birth of that person, but also for the uh, relative of that person and the, um, I'm sorry, one second, um, but also the uh, different relatives that this person can have. So if you know that your person has a father name so and so, or a mother or a spouse, you could uh, put this, those information here. Um, you can see and, and put a place for the residence and that will help on the results. So um, I'm gonna look for my guys over there. Uh, I know that my guy is called Michael Singer, and I'm gonna leave it quite open for now on the search um, and see what the result comes uh, back. And it seems that we are all using the internet, so it may be a little bit slow. So immediately, on the left side, I can see the different censuses that my heritage has and how many results I have for each one. I could actually click on any of them and get information only on that year. So these are all the Michael single singers that appears in the 1940 census. I can use the birth information, the residence, and the wife uh, or the children listed here in order to know which one is actually my guy. Um, I think it's this because I recognize the names and I recognize the place. So let's click on the image or the name uh, of uh, the result and you will be able to see information about the census. You will be able to see also what all the transcription uh, of the census, the name, uh, the gender, um, dates, residence. One of the reasons I love the 1940 census, by the way, is because it's the only census that will give you two residents. It will give you the residence in 1940 and also in 1940. 35. They ask that over there, so it's great. Uh, then you have a little bit of more details, uh, who responded, the marital status, the wife and the kids, information about the census itself, the state, the county, the district, the enumeration role, the frame, all the information that you need for the source citation. Please, 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 whenever you are adding information to your family tree, add the source citation as well. Below that, you have the household. We detected the people living in the same house and uh, we listed them for you. And of course, as every genealogy wants, the image. We don't trust in anybody. We actually want to see the images for ourselves. So uh, the image on the corner has an option that will allow me to see it full screen. Here I will be able to zoom in and really read the information about my people. Uh, on the left side, you see that my people is actually in line 65, 6, and 7. So I'm going to go down scrolling down to line 65 and here i have michael singer and i know that he was the person that
that submitted the information because the enumerator, the person that went door to door to taking all this information, put a sign at me, X with a circle right here, and this will tell me that this is the person uh, that actually answered the census. Um, it's my understanding that most of these people had trouble reading and writing, and that is why back in 1940, they have enumerators going door to door. Uh, and today, you needed to fill your own page. What I think it's really a uh, shame is that in this time, in 1940, as you can see in this form, uh, they had to write almost 30-something, uh, 30 34, 35 different aspects from the people living there. You have a wealth of information about how people lived back then, uh, not only the gender and the status, but also the ages, uh, the education, the place of birth, uh, how, many, how much time they have uh, in the country, uh, the residence in the 36 as uh, 35, as we said before, and all kind of information. Uh, 2020, it's only, it's my understanding, like a dozen of questions. Uh, so it's really a shame. So make sure that you put all your details and um, in your family tree so your descendants will not need to rely on the census. Now, sometimes if your family members are up here on the top or the bottom of the page, uh, I don't see, for example, the last name of Anne May or, or whatever you can read here. Okay, and she's the daughter and Joseph is the son, but I have no idea from whom. And this is because this whole family starts in the page before that. You can use this pagination right here or the arrows in the middle just to go to the previous record and see on the bottom of it the name of the household and the person that was answering the, uh, the questions. In this case, is this one right here. Now, you may want to go further back and forth in the same group of pages because back then, same as today, human beings, we all want to stay together. And you may find other family members living in the same building or in the same block. And because all those pages are from the same district and are from the same areas, it's worthwhile to just browse back and forth uh, to um, to see who else was living in the neighborhood. Okay, another suggestion that I have for you is to download the image. Uh, it's easier and always more convenient uh, to have those images saved in your computer for a backup, uh, so do not hesitate to do that. Uh, here in the top, I use all this, by the way, uh, to again build my source citation so I will know exactly where my people are in the census. Now, I'm going to go back to the record. Yeah, if the internet allows to do that. Uh, and I already see a few questions in, in uh, the question box. I'm going to refer to them in just a couple more of minutes. Uh, I wanted to show you two more things regarding censuses and almost uh, or most of the records in Arabic. Uh, sometimes, because this is transcribed by human beings, sometimes there is a lot of a, a lot of mistakes in the census, and we are actually asking you to suggest an alternative name. Let's say, for example, that uh, Michael uh, is wrongly named Michael Singer with, uh, let's say, one N. I know and I read the record and I see that his name is with double N. 
I can see say why the error and I can even put a note here and say this is what the record reflects. Um, okay, and then I can submit it. Once I submit, uh, people will be able to see this. And if somebody else comes to this page and looks for my Michael Singer, they're going to see that I have contributed and they can actually contact me. Another useful tip will be to leave a comment like I am related to this Singer family. If you find uh, also relationship, please let me know and people will see here your uh, icon and will be able to um, communicate with you. Now, because this is just a demo, I'm going to delete that. The next thing I should be doing is adding this record to my tree. And for that, I can uh, do it very easily at any point in time. Just click on the red uh, button, save the record. My heritage is going to detect the family trees and the people that I have in my uh, family. I can just decide who I want to assign this record to. And when I click save, nothing will happen. No information was copied through my family tree. All what happened is uh, a link was created between the individual in my family tree and this specific record. My suggestion, I will encourage you to click continue and in that way my heritage will present you a side-by-side -side screen with in the left side information coming from your family tree in the right side information coming from the record and arrows in the middle that will make very easy to extract the information and copy it to your tree always with a source citation and let me give you another uh, advanced tip uh, you have here the option to show more fields. When you click there, you will see that this expand. And now, let's say that I had a birth for this individual and the record is giving me a different one. I'm going to add this as an alternative, meaning that I can still add the information very easily, but I'm going to keep a copy of what I had previously there. Finally, you can select a source citation for every one of your facts. Uh, but as I said before, a detailed source citation is going to be added to the whole individual. You can do notes and write here whatever you want. And uh, you can also add more individuals that are related and mention uh, in the record and you all need to go down and uh, click on the save to tree button in order for all this to be saved to your tree. One final thing, just in case you keep doing your research and you found out at some point that this is actually not your guide. Names were the same, years were very similar, so what can I do? I can come back to this record. I can go down where it says this record was saved to. And on the three dots, I can say, you know what? This is not my guy. Or I forgot to extract more information. Uh, and you can continue here without any problem. Now, if you have saved information and you are undoing this acceptance, uh, it will only disconnect the record from your person, meaning that the information that you extracted from the record need to be deleted manually. We will not be able to go and to delete that information that you added before that. Okay, so I'm going to take a pause here uh, and I'm going to allow you to ask and I see a few questions here 
and I'm actually see that Laura wants to say her questions. I would love to hear your voice and your question, Laura. If you give me just one second, I hope to be able to find you very fast in the list of participants. And Laura. Okay, Laura, go ahead. I had to mute your microphone. What is your question? Laura, can you hear me? Okay, it seems that you either don't have a microphone or it's not active for whatever reason. Um, okay, in the meantime, uh, Albert is asking if the census will show uh, stillborns. Uh, no, normally is only the people who are actually leaving in that house at that time. It will show you people that rented uh, a room or a house in a particular moment, uh, but it will not show you um, stillborns. Uh, uh, can you import from Ancestry from my heritage and vice versa? Andrea, um, I guess that your question refers to trees and not to the records, but yes, you can bring a family tree to my heritage without any problem from any other um, any other uh, provider or company out there, and as well, you can export a tree from my heritage as well. Uh, do you have agricultural censuses as well? Uh, Sandy is asking. Sandy, that will be a wonderful question. And the answer is, I don't know. So how would I know? Very easy. I'm going to go to the second option of the research, which is the collection catalog. Here we have all the censuses and all the records, actually, that we have released in MyHeritage. Uh, 6,645 till today. In here, I can say uh, agricultural um, and I can actually search for the information that uh, are related to the word agricultural. So I see that we have a lot of statistics and surveys um, and information regarding the word agricultural. Uh, you could go, for example, we, yeah, we have one census here. We have some schools and directories. Uh, four of them are in Europe, six are in the US. So you can use also the left panel here to do some filtering of what uh, can be done. Karen is asking, Try non-population census. Yes, that may also be another way of finding. Uh, what if I don't want to put in it in a family tree? What if just want to download it to my computer? Is asking Irene. Uh, yes, Irene, you can uh, download the um, uh, the uh, 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 the record, as I show you, the um, simply the, the image, uh, and you could copy and paste and uh, download the rest of the information. Um, Betin is asking, are the X for who received the information from occur on all census years? Uh, not necessarily. The marks in the census uh, will depend. Uh, sometimes the enumerator got instructions to mark them uh, and otherwise they just did it or didn't do it. Um, I know in the, in the 1940s for sure, I'm not sure about previous uh, record. Uh, Mary is asking, how do you attach a record to multiple people at one time? Well, as I show you before, Mary, uh, if the people are related and appear also in the record, you will be able to do it very easily. If not, you will need to go one by one. And in the record where I show you that it was attached to a person, you had over there a button that allow you to add it to another person. 
where we can find the meaning of various columns in the census record is asking Didina. Uh, okay, uh, you can, my best guess will be simply Google it. Uh, meaning of columns in 1940 census. Some pages uh, are very clear and you will be able to just read exactly what they meant. Uh, others will be more obscure. I know that some, in some cases they use some code and uh, will need to find the, to crack the code and what um, are those codes. Uh, Peggy, Peggy is asking something very important. Are these webinars being recorded? Yes, Peggy. These webinars are being recorded and very soon they are going to be posted at the education page of MyHeritage. Before I get there, let me tell you that you still have a few days to take advantage of the free in-color feature of MyHeritage, black and white or all color pictures that lost their color that looks very brownish. Uh, you could upload them then to my heritage, colorize them, bring those families to life. And also very new is the option to setting the colorization. So now you can play with the saturation, with the rendering, uh, with the model of the colorization, and then you can decide which is the best one for your specific picture. So go ahead, upload your um, black and white picture of my heritage from limited colorization until April 22. Also free, and thanks to Jeff from Family Tree Webinars, are all the recordings from the 24 hour genealogy marathon that we had a couple of weeks ago. So if you are sitting in your house, as you should, uh, with nothing to do, this is the perfect time to take advantage of all this, learn about genealogy, and enjoy your time. We're going to have also more acts with the experts, and I am actually uh, copying right now in the chat the uh, links so you can uh, go ahead and subscribe to the future uh, ask the experts that we're going to have through all uh, April and I also paste right there uh, the URL for the 24 hours webinar so I look forward to seeing And as I said before, this webinar is recorded and I am trying to put them live as fast as I can in the education page, uh, in the knowledge base. But not only this recording, but previous webinars, articles, how-to videos, you will find a lot of information at education.myheritage.com. Um, you're more than welcome to follow me in social media. I try to keep everybody up to date with all the news about my heritage. And I can already tell you, news are coming. I already know that we are going to release a couple of cool things uh, in the next week. So definitely you want to take note of this and open your ears and eyes uh, to all what is out there about my heritage. Uh, let me leave this screen in the meantime and I will answer more questions. Um, how do you do enumeration districts in census searches? Okay, Cassandra, unfortunately all the searches on my heritage are based on names of people, so you will not be able to search by enumeration district. Uh, but once you hit a person, a family relative of you that are in a particular district, you will have all the information uh, about the uh, different enumerations. Now, Joe, very useful as always, is giving us a link for the 
census. Um, and I don't know, Joe, if you are answering Sandy, uh, who is asking about state censuses, because yes, we do have state censuses and the federal censuses as well. We may not have all the state censuses done, but uh, we have all the federal ones. Uh, Cindy, can you search on just the place as opposed to a name? Uh, yes, I guess uh, that you could. Um, and you know what? Let's try it. So what you're saying is that I sh could find only uh, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, only if I write it correctly. Uh, let's see what comes up. Okay, so yes, I get all the people living in Brooklyn, New York. What if I want everybody from Milford Street in New York? Let's edit the search, go back. Uh, and this is actually the advantage of your questions and me actually working live. Yes, so now I have uh, 261 families or people, uh, pretty much this is families, uh, living in Milford Street, Brooklyn. Um, so I am wondering, probably I can do the same with the enumeration district, but I really don't want to risk it. Um, are census maps included, as asking Cassandra? No, Cassandra, only the pages where information um, of uh, living people, individuals over there. Is there a way to save colorized photos as JPEG or TIFF? Is asking Vietin. Yes, uh, you can actually uh, save and download both the colorized and the black and white picture with no problem. You have on top of the picture, you will have some options and you will be able to download, rotate image and do whatever you want. Uh, there is an icon on the control panel that says our microphones are mute, is saying Mary. Uh, Mary, uh, yes. Uh, do you want to uh, ask your question, Mary? I will be more than happy to open your mic. Let's see. Let's try. Mary, Mary Lou, are you there? Mary Lou? Okay, I see that your microphone is open and you're trying to talk, but we cannot hear you. Okay, Mike is back now. Yes, excellent. We can see, we can hear you, Mary Lou. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have any questions? You already answered the question that I was going to have, so thank you very much. I think we've been doing very well. Oh, thank you very much to you for being here today. Uh, okay, so let me then answer other people's questions and mute you back. Uh, how do you go to page one or end of search by city? Um, Cassandra is very into uh, this and I am more than happy to answer even that we are uh, already ahead a couple of minutes. But Cassandra, uh, from here you can go to page one and, and you can go to the last page. Now this, again, remember, uh, this will be the same enumeration district. So you probably will need to find out uh, in other place, and I'm pretty sure Google will tell you uh, the different enumeration districts that have the different addresses, and you will be able to, uh, to search like that. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a couple of questions here that are not related to the census. So if you give me uh, one second, Linda is saying when we find an error on the census report, so there's a major misspelling, is greater any way to add a correction? Yes, I show you how, which will also help other research. Yes, excellent, Linda. So definitely you already got your answer and you are very uh, right. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave those questions not related for another opportunity uh, because these sessions are meant to be 30 minutes and very focused on a specific question. I see Lynn saying, not sure what is advantage of free option of census. Uh, okay, so uh, Lynn, you will need to subscribe, yes, but you don't need to pay in order to see those records and see the images and save the information to your tree or download the uh, images. Normally, uh, this collection will be a paid collection and we're offering now for free, so you have access to all what it has for you. Okay, uh, so I would like to thank you all. Uh, I see your questions and I will take those as uh, suggestions or maybe subjects for the next month or future Ask the Expert. Uh, again, Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. Please uh, stay well, take care of yourself, and enjoy, uh, keep doing genealogy. Thank you very, very much, and have a lovely day.